I don't like the General Lee, and I'll admit to that. Um, that doesn't mean I don't want a General Lee. I just don't really like it. In fact, I kind of have a problem with most, really most all movie cars. And uh, hopefully, as we talk about it, some of you guys will see where I'm coming from. But if not, hey, it's my opinion. You can tell me a pound sand and we'll just move on. But um, I got to start with sharing a story. It was uh, many, many years ago, back when I was at Mopar Muscle Magazine, I was assigned to go up to uh, the Duke's Fest. And they were teasing me, oh, well, you got a charger. You're obviously a big General Lee guy. And I liked the show. Don't get me wrong. It was fun. Um, and then of course, you know, seeing all the chargers were, was awesome and I secretly wanted one. So I drove up to Georgia and I went to the Dukes Fest and it's very much like, to say this nicely, eating too much of one of your favorite foods. And after two days of walking hundreds of General Lees, um, I learned real quickly that I never wanted to see another General Lee again. And especially because there were so many that were, quite frankly, done wrong. Of my opinion, if you're going to do, say, a Tribute Car, a General Lee, or a Bullet 68 Charger, or for that matter, you could do a Time Machine from Back to the Future. But if you're going to do it, do it right. Do it with the right car and try to replicate the movie as close as humanly possible. That's just my opinion. That's how I see things. So when I would see a 68 Coronet painted orange with black interior, but it had an 01 and a, and a Confederate flag on the roof, I was like, well, why even bother? After seeing all these things, I quickly realized, I was like, well, it's kind of a moving target. And I understand it. People love the show. And it means a lot to them. They grew up with it. it. It means a lot. And so for them, getting into a General Lee is a little bit of rewinding the clock and, quite frankly, living out a little bit of a childhood dream. Totally understand. Um, but what I found when I was there, and, and later I've gone to other uh, Dukes of Hazard themed events and talked with other General Lee owners and things like that. Of the majority, you find that most of them are not into cars per se. They're not Mopar people. They just really, really like the show. And that's when you get in kind of a, a messy conversation with a lot of these people because as a car guy, you want to talk about how they built the car or what they did or what's in the motor or you know how they, how they built it. And tell me the history about the car. They said, I always liked the show, I wanted a general, I wanted to slide across the hood and, and wear Wrangler jeans and feather my hair or whatever the heck. So I kind of got a distaste for it. And now I'm of the mindset that there's so many generals out there, I hate seeing another second generation charger being turned into a general. I, I just, oh, it's nails on a chalkboard for me. And that's Again, that's personal. Uh, the same way I would, you know, look at a guy who wants to make a Dom Toretto 70 Charger. Well, that 70 Charger has changed so many times, and they've modified it, and it, it gets more, it gets superpowers every time they do a new movie. So let's not go down the rabbit hole of Fast and Furious. But if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do a tribute of the original 70 all black with a BDS blower on a, on a Hemi with the, uh, uh, you know, the American Daisy wheels on it. Hey, great. Okay, cool. Do it. Um, but do a good version of it. I have seen some good versions of it. And I've seen guys who've done like the fast five where it's all blacked out and they blacked out the, the, the bumper surround that goes around the grill and different things like that. And Hey, that's fine too. Um, but again, I'm of the mindset are you in it because of the car, or are you in it because you want to be Dom, or you want to be Bo Duke? And so, again, the motivation gets a little muddy. Does that mean they don't love the car? No, of course not. They love the car. Um, does that mean that they don't respect how the car, you know, the history of the car, or what it meant? Probably not. 
but I don't think it matters. Um, and that's my hang-up, not their hang-up. So again, what does it matter? Uh, the problem is, is when you start getting into the car show mentality, you start getting into the car cruise mentality, where you go, that guy's not a real car guy, I'm a real car guy, and you start button heads. I'm sharing my opinion because I think there's a lot of like-minded people out there. Um, but will I go up to a general Lee owner and go, you're not a real Mopar guy, you're not a real car guy, you got your head in the, you know, in the sand and, 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 and tell them off? No, never. Because you know what? I have no place whatsoever to tell a person what they should love. I shouldn't. And the same way, I, I, I know I joked about this earlier when we did the video about wheel and tire size. If a guy wants to put 18s, with little rubber band tires on his car, and he loves that, I don't have a leg to stand on to tell him that's crap. What you might like, what I might like, is fine, and we're able to have it. And that's ours, it's special, it's something unique. Again, I've made the joke, people have told me I've ruined this car. So, okay, I guess I have, in their view. And... So I would like to kind of put it out there is there's a lot of guys out out on who are our readers who are on our Facebook page who are going to be watching this video who you know can be pretty salty and I can be pretty salty I'll admit to it and that doesn't really grow anything that doesn't get new kids in that doesn't get guys who might not know a lot of technical information but they really like the car maybe because of a TV show or a movie it's not our place to judge them in the sense of you're an idiot and you're not a real car guy but it is our place to be encouraging and if there are some things the guy's done wrong or he's made some mistakes you go hey listen man you know let me share how many times I've screwed up let me tell you what I did wrong. Yeah. But I think we should take the opportunity, whether it's in a Facebook group, whether it's in a forum, whether it's at a car show. You see a guy who pulls up and it smells like gas and you're like, something's not right, buddy. Yeah, I know. I can't figure it out. It's driving me nuts. And you go, hey, listen, you know, your tank, you know, the breather for your tank isn't hooked up. Oh, what? How do I do that? Where do I go? Well, give him some tips or whatever. So I think this is the I think that's an opportunity to help motivate. It helps grow. You might make a friend.